When it comes to video conferencing, you might first think about the quality of your camera or the quality of your microphone. And while those are both important considerations, there's something else that's easy to overlook that can make a huge difference in the quality of your video recording. Lighting. If you haven't thought about how to stage the lighting for your video call, you might just be using whatever lights are already around. I mean, if you're like me, you're probably more focused on being able to see the things around you rather than being seen or being well lit for your calls. Maybe you're relying on the existing overhead lights in your room. Maybe you're sitting next to or in front of a bright window that lets the sunshine in, but turns you into a shadow. So here's something that you can do for very little money that'll make a huge impact on the quality of your video. Three point lighting. You see, your camera drinks in light like we breathe in oxygen. The more lighting that you can provide and the little nudges here and there as to where you place your lighting can feel like the difference between holding your breath underwater and taking in a big, deep breath. So, three-point lighting is what I'm using right now. I have a light to the left of me, and I have a light to the right, and I have a light in the back of me. One, two, three. Now, these aren't fancy lights, and they certainly aren't expensive lights. I'm, I'm using these simple ring lights that you can pick up in almost every store these days, and certainly everywhere online. So let's see three-point lighting in action, and ironically, that means turning off my three-point lighting first. So, one, two, and three. Ooh, spooky, huh? Well, let's start with one ring light. I mean, if this is all you have, hey, you can certainly make the most of it. And as you're about to see where you place it can make a huge difference. Now, I don't think you'll like the effect if you put the light above you. It feels a little bit like you're being interrogated, doesn't it? But, hey, if all you have is a single light, then what you should do is place it directly in front of you with the camera shooting through the middle and ideally the light would be outside of the frame, right? Now, while this is perfectly okay, can you see how it makes me appear a bit flat or, or two-dimensional? Now, if I place it off to one side, wow, doesn't that make a dramatic difference? You can see shadows and contours and it should make me look a little bit more three-dimensional. This first light is called the key light. Now, if you add a second light, especially if you add it on the other side of your face. Notice how it fills in all the shadows. Funny story. The second light is called the fill light. So now both sides of my face are well lit with my key light on one side and my fill light on the other. But the room seems kind of dark, doesn't it? And there really isn't any clean separation between me and the background. And this is where that third light comes in. It's called, wait for it, a backlight. Ah. So now you should be able to see a bit of separation between me and the background. You should especially be able to notice it like around my hair. Sometimes this backlight is called a hair light for that very reason. It just makes me stand out a bit from the background. So there you have it. Three point lighting, a uh, key light on one side, a uh, fill light on the other and a uh, backlight to give me a bit of separation and distance from my background.
let me turn on my regular lighting again. So now that you've got the basics, now that you have a rough idea of what three-point lighting can do for you, how you get those lights in place is completely up to you and, well, and the room you're in as well. My fill light um, comes with a, a desk clamp and a, and a gooseneck, so it's easy for me to adjust it and play around with it, figure out what looks right. For my key light, you might start with a desk stand, and while that's that's just fine. It really takes up valuable real estate in my work area, and I, I don't like that. I like putting my key light on a long boom arm. One that will allow me to get that light perfectly in place and right the, in, in just the right position, but it won't take up all of my valuable desktop workspace real estate. So with an inexpensive light or two and an inexpensive stand or two, a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of creativity, you can make a dramatic difference in how you appear on camera.